Hey guys, as promised, I finally have some new benchmarks for my i7-13700K system. Really quickly, I just wanted to go over the specs with you guys because I have a pretty interesting setup. To start, obviously, we have the i7-13700K, and that's being cooled by a 240mm AIO. But for the graphics card, we're using an NVIDIA RTX 3070. Truthfully, the graphics card is probably going to be our limiting factor in this build, but it'll be fun to see what the PC can do anyways. The big thing here is that we are using a DDR4-Z690 motherboard. The RAM is a 2x16GB kit of G-Skill Ripjaws, 3600MHz CL16 timings. It's a pretty good kit for DDR4, but I know some performance is probably being left on the table not going up to DDR5. With all that being said guys, let's start the benchmarks. Looking at Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p ultra settings, we average 94 FPS. Pretty great high refresh rate experience, although the GPU is definitely our limiting factor here. Bumping up to 1440p ultra, we get a pretty playable experience. It doesn't solidly stay above 60 FPS, but it also never drops below the high 50s. Overall, we average 60 FPS on the dot, which is pretty crazy. So I'm trying to make sure we stick above that 60 FPS mark, so I bumped down to 1440p high settings and saw a pretty minor improvement overall, but it did eliminate hovering in the 50s in the busier areas. Overall, it averaged 65 FPS. I decided to try some 4K gaming and started with the medium settings without much success. Overall, we averaged only 40 FPS, which some argue is playable, but I'm always shooting for a 60 FPS experience and this just isn't it. Going down to the low preset at 4K, we still can't manage to hit 60 FPS, which is really unfortunate. Obviously, Cyberpunk is an extremely difficult game to run, so, you know, let's move on to something else. Switching over to Red Dead Redemption 2, we start at 1080p, the max preset, and are once again easily hovering around the 100 FPS mark, pretty frequently going over it even. Overall, the benchmark averaged 99 FPS. Going up to 1440p, max settings, we still easily keep above 60 FPS hovering around the 80s, which is a pretty great showing so far. Overall, the benchmark averaged 80 FPS. Alright, let's give 4K another shot and see how we do in this title. We lowered the quality a little bit, sliding down to the very beginning of the favorite quality. For me, the performance is just below acceptable, sticking below 60 FPS most of the time. Lowering the settings just a tad would probably let us average 60 FPS pretty easily, but for this benchmark, we overall averaged 57 FPS. Alright, so I'm going to be kind of upfront with you guys. I decided for the rest of our benchmarks to drop the 1440p and 4K tests because I mainly want to try and push the CPU. Running the high resolutions was lowering the strain on my CPU. So, to start, I picked a high FPS title with Doom Eternal at 1080p Ultra Nightmare. As you can see, we are running everything really well, keeping above 144 FPS the entire time. When things aren't so busy, we are even reaching 240 FPS, which looks great on a high refresh monitor. Going back to a more immersive title, I decided to run God of War at 1080p Ultra. Easily, once again, keeping above the 100 FPS mark, much like many of the other 1080p titles we've been looking at. And that brings us to our last game of the benchmark, and I decided to take a look at good old Spider-Man Remastered. We ran the game at 1080p, very high settings, and once again, we are keeping well above 100 FPS. Starting to see a trend of some of these games struggling to get past 100 FPS at 1080p. We aren't finished with this CPU yet though. With the game benchmarks done, I also wanted to run a quick Cinebench test just to see how the 13700K scores. Starting with our single core performance, we got a 2108, which is pretty incredible. 
After that, we ran the multi-chord test and scored a whopping 29,588 points. Pretty amazing. Well, that's it for the benchmarks today, guys. Let me know what you think about the results. I'm hoping in the future I can get a higher end GPU to really test my 13700K out. But for now, I'm running a killer 1440p and 1080p rig. Before I let you guys go, I'm going to hit you with a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by us. Here at Omni Ray Electronics, we make custom built PCs at a great cost. We offer free shipping and is built with the care you would expect from a smaller business like ours. And if you want something more rustic, go out and check out our friends at Electronic PC, where they do custom wood grain PCs that look really incredible and can mix in with a more traditional themed home much better than a normal steel PC. Once again, check us out on Omni Array Electronics or head over to our friends at Electronic PC for any of your custom build needs. Thanks for watching today, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to ask questions in the comments if you'd like. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps out. Thanks again, everyone, and I hope you all have a great day.